It is always devastating when a parent loses a child, but there's a Bloomington dad who has found a way to keep his son's memory alive. And also help countless others who are struggling. Mm. Dustin Grove explains how this musical journey now is inspiring Indiana. Welcome. Thank you for joining us today. Follow Ed Schwartzman around, and most of the time you'll find him catching up with customers. How's lunch? Lunch is good? Great, thank you. Or cooking up wings inside his iconic Bloomington restaurant near the heart of the IU campus. But take a ride with him, and you'll quickly learn this music is the anthem of his heart. Not just any music, though. My son. As a teenager, Ben Schwartzman was already making quite a name for himself, and people were listening. Mama, he started singing cover music, then began writing and performing his own. Big man up in the sky. When is my time tonight? He was a very humble performer. He was not a showman at all. And he was singing from within. He, like, his music to me was open heart surgery. Feel like knocking on heaven's door. You could just see he's feeling the words. But he was also feeling darkness. He was seeing a, a counselor and a psychiatrist. The psychiatrist was on his way to possibly diagnosing him schizo schizophrenic. He would never get the chance. On October 15, 2007, Ben's music went silent. I remember seeing the body and what can you do? Ben Schwartzman died by suicide. He was just 19 years old. But Ed was determined to keep Ben's memory alive through his music. He just needed to figure out how. So I start fishing, fishing with this music not knowing anything about anything. He sent the music to musicians, producers, anyone and everyone he could think of, and he never gave up. Try to understand. Finally, this month, 14 years later. I hit Apple Play in my car, and my son's name shows up on my uh, screen. And I'm listening, and I'm singing along. It's impactful. His music is now available on Spotify uh, and other streaming services. Thanks to help from a producer and a local recording studio. The reason I can listen now is I feel optimism. I feel like something positive is going to happen. Something to make a difference in the lives of others. All proceeds are going to Centerstone, a mental health facility in Bloomington. A lot of right. people would say, I'm giving it up. Right. What kept you going? It kept me thinking about my son. I'm the only one on the planet that could do it. Like, I was handed this assignment. I didn't ask for the assignment. I didn't want the assignment. I'm still his dad. I'm proud of him. Musician Louis Armstrong famously said, music is life itself. Ed Schwartzman is thankful that through this music, his son will live forever. And he left something beautiful for the world. He really did. 